What's up YouTube, Ellie Awesome here, and today I'm unboxing the pink iPhone 13. I'm excited, are you excited? Because I'm excited. <laughs> also bonus unboxing, I have the iPhone 13 case in pomelo. I hope that's how you say it. This is the new like pinkish red color. It's a MagSafe silicon case and the iPhone leather wallet. So the iPhone now doesn't come in plastic wrap. It has these pull tabs on the top and the bottom and once you peel them off, the box can open. The reason I'm showing you that on the iPhone 13 mini's box is because I've already unboxed this for TikTok. Sorry, they got the scoop. They got the exclusive. If you're on the talk, check it out. And otherwise, let's do this. Ooh. Now look, I just spoiled it and said I have seen this phone before, but I gotta say, still stunning. The pink is just such a soft pink. I hope you're able to take in the color in this, but this is just so nice. Okay, just quickly interrupting. Have you guys heard of the Book of Limbo? Check this out. Like it's really cool looking. And funnily enough, it's made by Belong, the mobile and internet company here in Australia. And they approached me to show it off to you guys. And originally I was like, what is that? That is random. But it is a book that's meant to entertain you while you're updating your phone. So you know, if like you're transferring your data to your latest device, you've got nothing to scroll on and you're disconnected from the internet. It's like a time when you're really truly offline, <laughs> mostly. And so this is kind of like the internet in a book. I find it really fun to flip through and surprisingly it does feel a lot like scrolling. But not only that, this book comes with a free $80 worth of credit with Belong and a SIM. That's their offer, I guess, to entice you to try out Belong. It's completely free for Aussies. The link is in the description, but now let's get back to the video. On the iPhone 13, we again have that flat edge design that we saw on the iPhone 12. And it is familiar in the sense that we have seen it um, on earlier models, a very similar design. I've got to say those edges are clean. That color is so beautiful. And in the box, there's not much. <laughs> You've just got the USB-C to lightning cable, your little design by Apple in California with a SIM tool, an Apple sticker, and a little piece of information. I guess notably what's new with this design would be the camera placement. Uh, they're now diagonally as opposed to one on top of the other with the iPhone 12. Apparently this is actually due to fitting in the camera optics but I will have to take a little guess and say that it's probably also, so there is a defining feature of the iPhone 13 so you can tell them apart. And if you think about it, Apple so carefully designs their phones that whether they're similar to the previous model or not, there's always defining features that set them apart. And there's just simply defining features of an iPhone. For example, the notch at the top. That's another feature that Apple has changed this year. It's 20% smaller. This is my iPhone 12 Pro. You can see the difference there. I hope you like my wallpaper. It is smaller. Um, it might actually be a tiny bit taller and that notch is still there to arguably keep an incredible hardware experience uh, on the front facing camera design for face ID and such, but not yet removed. When I say yet, it doesn't bother me that there's a notch there, although I know it's a pet peeve for a lot of people. A completely edge to edge display would be nice, but again, I think that's, that's Apple being Apple. You see this phone held up from five meters away, because of that notch, you know it's Apple. And I think that's marketing and branding done right. Anyway, that's just my two cents. I love branding and Apple just does it so well. And now I definitely should just get onto the case. Ooh, that is cute. What a beautiful color. Look at that, that's stunning. It looks delicious. Like I just wanna, I'm excited to see this on the phone. Ooh. That's nice. This is an awesome color combo. How do you guys feel about this? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Let me know. Really smooth case. It feels incredibly premium for a silicon case. That's something you definitely get with Apple. You know, the cases are costly, um, but they're really durable and beautiful. Also MagSafe compatible, which means, where is it? Where is it? Where's my MagSafe? These, these incredible accessories that were introduced last year, along with the iPhone 12, are of course compatible. And honestly, it's one of my favorite things Apple has ever done. Vibes. Since switching to the iPhone 12, it has been a challenge to use other phones that don't have MagSafe. There are some very cool MagSafe accessories from Apple and Belkin and other brands that just work so well with this, like car mounts, for example. Just let's open up the leather wallet. Oh, the color on that. All right, we've got the wallet. We have documentation -ish. There's not much going on there. I'm not gonna read that. So to get your cards out, you do have to flip it and then you'll push like so. I do struggle with that. Even my cards in real life, I gotta say that is 
The only small challenge I have with these, but they are so convenient. So you can snap that on now with MagSafe, it clicks into place. And I, I was too scared to use these for a long time uh, because I was worried I would lose them. But Find My is going to be compatible with your MagSafe wallet now. So if this drops off your phone and you lose it, your iPhone will tell you where it was last seen. I might move to a MagSafe wallet full time. I don't know. Would you, have you, tell me more about your experience with these things. Yeah, can say though, pretty good quality on the magnet. Oh, and like, also you can use it without a case. That's so satisfying. Also surprise, I do have the pink iPad mini. Here's a little quick uh, comparison. Crazy, these two products. Um, the new iPad mini is seemingly thinner than the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 12. Very cool device. I'm reviewing all of Apple's new releases. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and subscribe so you don't miss a video from me. And hopefully I will see you in one of my next videos. Bye.